So I feel like I developed this style during the pandemic. Just a lot of time like alone, messing with the airbrush, messing with what I could do with materials. So all of what you see here is not actually paint, it's dye. So layering layers of like yellow and red and blue over and over again. And the darkest parts are where there are the most layers kind of built up. Right at the end, I put bleach through the airbrush gun too. And so it'll come and knock out areas of color. So all the lightest highlights here are the bleach done at the very end. At first, very early on in this body of work, I was getting images of friends and family and people that I knew. But really quickly, I decided to start finding images the way that I encounter them through everyday life, through the internet, through social media. I started saving images that I thought were really striking or kind of had this energy to them and working with those. I'm a little bit restricted in terms of what I can do with the dye, where the threshold is or what the boundaries of that material is. So far in my journey, reds, yellows, and oranges are really kind of malleable and easy to work with. But when I get into like the blue and green territory, those tend to be really hard to lift in ways that are predictable or kind of work with. Of course, that's like a challenge. And so this whole summer, I've been really trying to push getting more and more color out of it. This painting in particular, I finished it around the end of July, so it's a really good marker of like where I am with color right now. I'm trying to push color to the max and kind of like bridge out from the monochromatic place where the body of work started. I don't know the identity of this person, but developing this narrative through color and through the material is, I'm thinking about toxic people or apocalyptic people in the future, living in an atmosphere that's just like heavily polluted. They're kind of like radioactive and glowing a little bit. For this painting, it, it was really complicated to kind of get to this place color-wise where I have these like darker blue tones and then also these like neon green highlights. If you're to take the journey of where I am with color, this is a really good representation of like different strategies or techniques I've used to think about it in the past couple of months. Thank you.